welcome to Lockdown Minis. I'm Richard and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I paint Tor Garridan from the Imperial Fists. I'm starting with a white undercoat on this model uh, just to help me out with the yellow and the first colour I'm applying here is Heavy Gold Brown by Vallejo. We need to get a nice even coat that should look like this and this should give us a good base to start building our highlights from. I'm not going to use Moon Yellow by Vallejo and I'm just going to use this as our first highlight. I'm going to be applying this from um, from above where any of the, the light would come from our, our light source uh, and I'm going to be ignoring any of the, the recesses of the model as well. Now that we've completed the first highlight um, I've added a bit of white to the the yellow that I had in the cup to really brighten that. Um, it's mostly white with a hint of uh, hint of the yellow. I'm just using this in um, small areas such as the top of the kneecap just to capture these areas where the light would hit most. Um, unfortunately the camera angle on this one's not the, my best work um, but you'll be able to see where I've placed these uh, highlights in the, in the next coming steps. I've took a snapshot of the screen here just to show you where those um, highlights are as um, you can see them that well in the, in the previous step. They're, you can just see they're on the, the upper parts of the, the knee pads and also the upper parts of the feet as well as on the fist um, and the, the shoulder pad and also the, the, the guard that comes up the back of the, back of the head. I also added some on the chest although that won't be seen as much once we add the, the red in. Here I'm using Mephisto Red uh, just to fill in the areas of the shoulder pads but also the chest emblem as well. Now I'm going to be using some, um, some black just to fill in um, any straps uh, for, the, for the cloak and belt um, but also um, to fill in any gaps between the, the armour plates. Also at this time um, I've used some of the white uh, just to fill in the uh, white areas of the Imperial Fist emblem um, just because it's so much easier um, to paint black over white than it is white over black and it just means I have to do less coats. I'm now going to um, focus on some of the metallic areas of the, of the model and I'm using silver by Vallejo for this. Now we're going to add our first shade, which will be Null Oil uh, by Citadel, and we're just going to apply this um, all over the, the metallic areas that we've just used the silver on. I'm now going to be um, separating the armor panels um, on the model using a really fine brush um, and um, Seraphim Sepia by uh, by Citadel shade um, and I'm just placing this in the, the recess just to create an, an obvious um, split between one plate and the next plate and I'll do this all over the model.
Now to um, further separate the, the armor pieces but also uh, as a final highlight I'm going to be adding an edge highlight of Bone White by Vallejo. While I'm using the bone white, I also add some vertical um, stripes to the, the shin pads, um, just as a, a, a further highlight, but also to break that yellow up a little bit. Um, this makes it look a little bit more metallic as well. I've now just gone back to um, the silver by, by Vallejo um, just to fill in some areas that I'd missed um, on his left fist, uh, some of the control panel areas, but also on his you know eyepiece that's connected to the suit. Using the same bone white as before, um, I'm making a start on the purity seal by just um, you know filling in all the the cream areas to the parchment. I'm now using a little bit of uh, polished gold by Vallejo just to break up some of the metallic areas on the power fist. Next I'll be adding a, a highlight of wolf grey to all the, the black straps um, and any areas that I painted black earlier. I'm avoiding using um, an edge highlight on these straps as I wanted to give them a little bit of texture so I, I'm, I'm feathering this highlight in um, just to give it a bit more of um, a worn look. I'm now um, just going around all the, the metallic areas uh, that I painted earlier with the gold um, and also the silver and I'm just going over them with um, Northern Oil. Now we're also going to use the null nail just to go over any of the the red, um, remember the fist on red that I painted earlier um, on the shoulder pad, but also the emblem on the chest.
for all the um, lenses and um, electrical looking cables I'm going to be using turquoise uh, by Vallejo as a base um, and then I'll also apply a, a wash of Norn Oil to this and then slowly add white to the turquoise uh, for, the, for the highlights. I've um, used Bloody Red by Vallejo uh, for the Purity Seal um, and I've also um, washed the, the parchment with some, uh, some Seraph and Sepia um, and I'm now just adding the highlight of the Bone White by Vallejo. Um, again, to give it the look of uh, texture, I'm adding in some feathering um, on the uh, purity seal, uh, as well as the edge highlighting on this as well. And I'll, uh, I'll finish the purity seal off with a, a, a shade of null nile. As described earlier, I'm just using um, turquoise by Vallejo for these uh, electrical looking pipes. Now adding a highlight of uh, Mephiston Red uh, just to the areas of the emblem on the chest and also the, the shoulder pads um, just where we went over with the Null Oil um, over the, the red earlier on. Now for his head, I started off with a, a black um, primer undercoat, uh, which I've then um, used white as a, a Xenophil highlight. And now um, all I'm going to do uh, just for the flesh tone is add um, Raglan Flesh Shade. Um, I'll put this on quite heavy uh, at first, and then I'll come back and tweak this. Um, in some areas where there, there needs to be a little more shading. So 
sorry about the the focus on this my camera really struggled um, to pick this up and I suppose it doesn't help that there was a, a lot of background in this um, I'm hoping you can see roughly where I'm, I'm putting uh, the additional Raglan flash shade just putting it either side of his nose um, on um, his, his chin um, but also in his eye sockets um, and also where the frown lines are um, on his, his forehead as well for his hair I'll, um, I'll be painting the whole thing white and then I'll just be in a shade of Northern Oil uh, just to make it look like grey hair For the base uh, colour of his cloak, I went with um, my fist on red uh, to match the shoulder pads and his chest emblem. I added three coats here um, just to get the, the finish that I wanted. As I did earlier with the um, shoulder pads and the chest emblem, I'm going to dull this down um, with a, a wash of Null Nile. As you can see as well, I'm letting this really set into the, the recesses and I'm applying quite a lot on. Um, I'm now using just a, a, a dry brush um, just to take some of that um, that shade off, um, still leaving you know plenty within the within the recesses. Now that the shade is dry, um, I've added the cloak onto the, the main model and now I'm just adding a highlight to the cloak uh, in a similar manner that I did with the, um, the parchment for the uh, purity seal. I started off with an edge highlight and then I'm using just some feathering, um, just to feather in the, the highlight around the edges. For his backpack I've used all the same processes um, from the edge highlighting um, to setting the, 
uh, Serapin's Serpia into the, the recesses. Um, I've used Vallejo Silver for the metallic areas um, and then gone over that with uh, a Null Oil Wash. And it, nothing has changed uh, between the, the, the backpack and, and the main model. Um, it's just exactly the same process is repeated. For the base, I've painted the um, entire base in somber grey uh, by Vallejo, which has almost like a purple tint to it. I'm now um, adding a shade of Norn Oil um, just to um, darken that down, particularly in the recesses. Now that that's um, entirely dry, I'm adding a dry brush of uh, wolf grey to the entire base. Now adding an additional shade of Agrax Earth shade. Um, this is now to um, give it sort of a you know soil effect um, over the the stone effect and, and to give it a bit more grit and, and dirt to the to the base. And now I'm doing a second um, but slightly lighter uh, dry brush of the wolf grey. I'll now finish this off with a nice neat ring of black. I've now finished the base off with um, some tufts of grass just to complete the whole thing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's definitely an interesting model to paint. Um, and it, it's taken me some time. Um, this is approximately uh, nine hours uh, of, of filming compressed into this video. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any uh, any questions at all, uh, leave me a comment. If you're interested, you can also find me on Instagram uh, to lockdown underscore minis. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for some more videos.